Hey, people are complaining about the adults. The young ones are worse. Besides being home to a population of 5.7 million people, Singapore also houses a large variety of native wildlife. Some of these animals include the Asian palm civet, the flying lemur, and the well-loved otters. So cute! It's so big! Unfortunately, as housing and other city projects are built ever closer to nature reserves, some of these wild critters are pushed to forage and roam closer to human habitats, leading to more animal injuries. So what happens to Singapore's lost or wounded wildlife? One of the animal welfare groups leading the rescue charge here in Singapore is the Animal Concerns Research and Education Society, or known as ACRES for short. When they save an injured animal, they bring them here to their wildlife rescue centre. This is our outdoor sanctuary. Uh, we set it up a few years ago with the help of volunteers and basically it facilitates to house some of our animals from the illegal wildlife trade to have an outdoor area. So this is a neonate which means it's really young, the eyes are not even open yet. Opening. 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 She's been here for two weeks now and it's just opening so you can see like, like a tiny slit. It's a very long, tedious process. We feed them milk every three hours. We need to stimulate them uh, toilet them to pee and poo because they can't do that on their own. Basically, with his mom. So, Kalai, how many calls do you guys get per month? Uh, currently, we are averaging about 1,700, 1,800 calls a month. What is your day-to-day -day cost that you guys have to spend to keep everything running? In a month, we are spending about $100,000. So, if I spot an injured animal in the wild, what should I do? If you spot an injured wild animal, uh, you can call our hotline, the 24-7 hotline, and send us photos and videos so based on that we will assess sometimes an animal may not be injured um, and it doesn't even need to be rescued so we will take a look at photos and assess and advise you accordingly how long does an animal stay in the facility before they get released in the wild? Uh, if you're talking about injured animal, it depends on the, how bad the injuries are. And even after the animal has recovered from the injury, we will need to further rehab the animal uh, to ensure that it hasn't gotten too used to people during our stay here. Or, you know, we need to make sure that it's given a wild uh, environment again to get it used to before putting it back in the forest. Yeah. So if people want to learn more about wildlife in Singapore, what are some resources they can look to? Uh, they can visit our website www.acres.org.sg um, If you're not sure, if you saw an animal that you don't know what it is, you can WhatsApp us the photo and we will reply you as soon as we can. Um, but people can also visit MPAX's website. They have a lot of uh, material there as to the do's and don'ts. I think it's important as we urbanize and more, more wild animals coming into our urban areas that people need to know uh, what are the, some of the animals they might be seeing and, and the true facts about them uh, and what to do and what not to do. Uh, should we be getting too close to the animal? Should we keep a distance? Um, so these are things that people really need to know uh, for sure. Um, yeah, they can also visit Acres as well. Make an appointment, visit us and get to know more about our work. And you can also volunteer. That's the best way, uh, most hands-on way you can get to know more about animals in Singapore. If people want to make a regular donation, how can they do that? Um, all the information can be found on the website. Uh, you just got to go sign up and I think yeah, through Gyro, you can be a monthly donor. Our largest fundraiser, which is our gala dinner, is finally making a comeback this year after two years uh, on October 8th. So yeah, we, we really need all the help we can financially and also, you know, in terms of uh, hands on deck. So just buy a ticket and come to our gala and yeah, show our support. As Singapore moves towards becoming a city in nature, which is an important pillar of the Singapore Green Plan 2030, better awareness on what to do the next time you encounter a wild animal will help strengthen Singapore's conservation efforts and keep healthy levels of biodiversity on the island. Coconuts TV